It's race day at Indianapolis. Speed is king, and scores of thousands are here to see the cream of the world's crop of racing pilots and racing cars compete in the 1934 Memorial Day 500-mile classic. Every state in the Union is represented among these parked cars. Since dawn, in fact, since long before dawn, every road leading to the speedway has been choked with a steady stream of traffic. Down in the pits, the drivers and mechanics are making last-minute adjustments on the mighty midgets, which they hope will carry them to victory. Here are the thoroughbreds of motordom, worth almost their weight in gold, and temperamental as Derby Day entries. To you motor-minded people, here is a gallery of real masterpieces, and they cost plenty, too. Many of these drivers have invested as much as twenty-five or thirty thousand dollars in their mounts, but to win the Indianapolis Classic means to win fifty or sixty thousand dollars. And so they come, year after year, pitting their skill and courage against the thickets with this hobble brick track. There's Ray Haroon. Ray won the Indianapolis race way back in 1911. And there's Arthur Chevrolet. This track draws him back like a magnet each year. Daredevils, death chasers, well, perhaps that's what you call them. But their daring adventures have blazed the trail of automotive advancement. For the improvements in motor car building, which have given you greater performance, greater dependability, yes, and greater safety in your family car, were conceived here on the racetrack under the flaming lash of speed. Look deeper than the thrills and chills, and you'll find that these speed merchants are the pioneers of progress. The straight eight engine, multiple carburation, four-wheel brakes. Yes, even the conventional rear vision mirror made their first appearance on racing cars. Here at Indianapolis, they proved their fitness in the test supreme. Most important of all the motoring improvements which have come to you down the roaring road are modern tires. It may be truly said that the Speedway has been the proving ground of motoring's finest tires. Ah, here we are at the Indianapolis racetrack of years ago. The billboards call this the speed battle of the century. But in those days, the life of a tire on the Speedway was a matter of minutes. And he who was most adept at replacing tires usually won. And that, if you remember, was about the time when frequent punctures and blowouts were expected as a part of the day's motoring. 500 miles of oh. service from a tire was something to boast about. Many years ago, Firestone began to use the racetrack as a sort of addition to its testing laboratory. Here, Firestone engineers studied the effects of extreme high speeds on rubber and fabrics. With this priceless experience, they developed new fabrics new rubber compounds, and new methods of tire building. Then, back they went to the speedway again to put their latest achievements to the acid test. Unceasing research in laboratories, in millions of miles on test cars all over the world, topped off by the test supreme on the racetrack, brought rewards. Tire life and dependability increased, and the benefits were passed on to the general public. Racing drivers know their tires. And it is indeed significant that for 15 consecutive years, the winning car at Indianapolis has worn Firestone tires. Firestones are now regarded as standard equipment by virtually the entire fraternity of speed. It may be a surprise to you to learn that these race drivers pay for their tires, even as you and I. They buy Firestones and you couldn't give them anything else. For well, they know from long and perhaps bitter experience that in a race as long and grueling as the 500-mile classic, tires can mean the difference between a winner and an also-ran. Perhaps the difference between life and death. Stand here in the Firestone Speedway headquarters and you'll meet the foremost racing figures of the world. There's Harry Miller, the famous racing motor designer, and Harry Hartz talking with Brownie Carslake, Firestone executive. Let's listen in. 
Well, Brownie, you certainly had a wonderful record last year, having all fire on tire clipped and never lost a tire. Well, that's the kind of tire performance that Miller cars deserve. Well, it took a Miller car and Firestone tires to win me permanent possession of the Wheeler and Shepard Trophy after the world's best have been fighting for it for 21 years. Harry, that gave us just as much pleasure as it gave you. I don't think there's any question. It's been a great combination. Thanks a lot. Well, that's the way I feel about it. Say, that's a real tribute. Let's look around and find some more celebrities. Over there is Dave Evans in one of the diesel-powered cars bidding goodbye to Waldo Stein, Firestone's field representative. Get ready to start the race now. I'm going to try to go 500 miles without stopping again on your tires. Like you did in 1931, eh? the old Firestone, yes, sir. All right. They won't let you down, and you know that, don't you? No, they never have in 12 years. Okay, boy. Good luck today. Oklahoma. Coming from the men who know tires best, these comments mean something. Race drivers think of Firestone. Howdy, Louie. You ready for the race today? Well, here's one part of the car that's always ready. Say, Al, what's the secret of a champion? Right here. Fred, what kind of tires are you riding on? Why, by all means, Firestone. I have over $10,000 invested in this car and a little over three years' work, and I wouldn't rest my neck on anything else. Don't take any chances, Kelly. Not me, boy. Well, Wilbur, going to finish in the money today? Well, if we don't, it certainly won't be the fault of these babies. How's she riding, Ralph? Perfectly. On Firestone. Frank, what do you think of tires? Firestone. Put them on. Forget them. Hello, Chet. Lots of luck to you, boy. I'm not trusting to luck. I ride Firestone. Maury, what's the best thing on wheels here today? Right there is the best thing on wheels. Play it safe, Tony. I already have. Hey, Snowy, what do you think of Firestones? I think so much of Firestone tires that I wouldn't risk my neck on any other tire. Hiya, Red. Gonna bring home new shoes for the baby? Ha <laughs> ha, my baby's got shoes. Firestones. Let's go, gang. There goes the first bound. The curtain is about to rise on the world's greatest drama of speed, skill, and stamina. A mighty masked band blares an overture. Let's listen. <laughs> 